We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for ya. In this video, we are going to begin painting this Archeon the Everchosen Mini. And we are going to begin by painting his wings and the underbelly of the model with a dark cream bone color that gets a little bit darker at the end of the wings. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave it down below in the comments. Because this is a pretty large model, I'm going to do a lot of these steps by airbrushing. And the first color I want to use is going to be Mornfang Brown. You can use the Citadel Air color for this step, or you can do as I'm doing, which I'm just taking the regular paint and mixing my own. We're going to use this to coat the webbing on all of the wings. I'm also going to be painting this on the necks and the underbelly areas of this model. Anywhere that would be skin and not necessarily the dark black scales that we're going to be painting later. I recommend doing short, quick bursts of paint. We want to build up the color slowly and in a controlled manner so that we can blend it very smoothly. I'm going to need to do a couple coats just to make sure that I get a really nice saturated brown color over the black. Here are the wings once I've coated everything with the Mornfang Brown. The next color I want to use is going to be XV88. I'm also going to be mixing this and spraying it through my airbrush. This is another color that has a Citadel Air equivalent. I'm just mixing my own because I don't happen to have it on hand. And we're going to be spraying this color over most of the wing. However, we're going to be leaving a little bit of Mornfang Brown at about the bottom one fifth of the wing. And I'm just going to be doing short controlled bursts of paint and slowly blending these two colors together, making sure that I'm starting to work up a much brighter brown toward the top of the wings. Here's our Kayon after we finish with the XV88. Our next color is going to be Towel Light Ochre. We're doing basically the same process, however, with this Towel Light Ochre color, we want to paint it on about 50% of the wing. Also, any step that I do on this winged area, I want to repeat on the other side of the wings and also on the neck and the underbelly and any area that's going to be the skin. The next color I want to use is going to be Flayed One Flesh. This isn't a color that has a Citadel Air equivalent. If you aren't comfortable mixing your own paints, you could also use Ushapti Bone and that would be a very similar color. I'm going to spray about the top fifth of this wing and then I'm going to slowly work it up so that the color comes down to about the top third of it. This is going to be very light. This color is a lot brighter than the Towel Light Ochre. So if I spray it on too thickly all at once, it's not going to blend very smoothly. So I just want to do very short bursts of paint slowly concentrating the color right next to the areas that are later going to be touched up with black and be dark black scales. I'm going to do one final highlight using a little bit of white scar and I'm really just going to be spraying very little of this at the very top of the wing, the area that I want it to be the brightest. Here's the wings after our airbrushing is all done. I want to add in a few more shadows. The first color I'm going to use is going to be Seraphim Sepia. And I'm going to be applying this to about the top third of each of these wing sections. I want to apply this color right where the wing webbing meets each of the fingers. And then I'm also going to be adding it into the shadow of each of these veins that go horizontally across the wing. After we've applied Seraphim Sepia to the top third of the wing, adding the shadow back to the lightest parts, I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade to do the middle third of the wing. I'm going to be doing the same process. I just want to use a slightly darker shade since this area of the wing is slightly darker. 
Here's the wing after the Agrax Earthshade has been applied. The final step is going to be to use Nuln Oil to do the same process in the very last third of the wing. This is the darkest shade that we're going to use so it's going to add a little bit of shadow to the darkest parts of our wing. And after all the shades have dried, the base coat for these wings is complete. All of the same steps were used to paint the neck and the belly of this Archeon model as well as the inside of the tail. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I show you how to paint cracked pottery in the mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a Vault membership, go ahead and click the link. You can sign up for a 7 day free trial and get access to my tutorial as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy Wargaming!